Good afternoon <clears throat> and welcome to our live session. This is your friend Morita Nawa. I want to welcome you wherever you are joining us within Africa, within Zambia. Let us know if you can hear me loud and clear before I go any further. Uh, we had a bad experience last week. Somebody, uh, I went, I kept going live and yet nobody could hear me. Okay, I've just checked. <laughs> we are live. Good afternoon and welcome everybody. If you are a business person, join us. If you have business ideas, join us. We are going to be live for one hour. And I'm going to be taking your questions. I'm going to be answering any questions that you have. We are going to have a conversation that has to do with entrepreneurship. Let's make sure we can see your comments. Let's see. Greetings, tell us where you're joining us from. I want to go straight into the conversation. Um, Wise says, I have no band or share an article. Wise, I've just shared an article called The Seven Struggles Every Young Person Must Overcome. So please go ahead and read that article. And if you don't have uh, bundles to be with us for one hour, find a way to get those bundles. If you don't have money now, you can always come back and uh, uh, Wamui says volume. Can everybody hear me? Uh, let me see. Can we proceed? Are we audible? Good afternoon, sir. Following you from Lusaka, Chamba Valley, Francis. Kenneth says, I'm following Reverend. <laughs> Come on, Reverend Dine. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Reverend. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. We want to go straight into our talk today. Uh, Tinashe says, I can hear you. Sound is very low, Eric says. Okay. Let's try and remove the headsets. Can you hear me? Uh, Mori says, Mwita Tandiza Chipani, please, you are very gifted. Yes, I'm very gifted. Thank you for that. Thank you for that, uh, Mori, I appreciate it. Can you hear me better now? How can I access startup funding without registered business name? Can everybody hear me now? Okay. Um, let me just add, somebody has just paid to join the group. We have a brand new class starting up, guys. Um... We have a brand new class starting October 1st. And I just want to share something. If you are watching us right now and you have not joined our, our class, I, I am very confused about you. And here is what I mean. We, we are doing a class for one year, a mentorship class for one year. I wanted you to see. I liked the other picture better. See where I am. Look at that. That's all money. Huh? That's all money, ladies and gentlemen. Money, money, money. That's money right there. Huh? That's money. There's a lot of money in this country. A lot of money in this country. You just need to know how to tap into it. And today we are talking about how to start your business without money. Quickly, let me make this announcement that some of you are shocking me <coughs> because we have advertised a class that is mentorship for one year and it's 15 kwacha only to join for one year. And starting October 1st, it's going to go to 180 kwacha for one year. And I want you to know I'm very strict at business, guys. If you come to me after September 30th, and you say, Mubita, I couldn't join the class. Here is my 15 kwacha. I will send it back to you. I'm very strict at such things. Very, very strict. And I don't play at business. If you play with business, then you are not serious. So please, it's 15 kwacha. The reason I put a 15 kwacha discounted price now 
it's to encourage those other people who sometimes feel our classes are very much upper mwamba. And I want to let you know, we have a mentorship class starting October 1st. Our goals, uh, we're going to each raise millions of dollars, retirement fund, we're going to build houses, and we're going to have income and reserve, and we shall share how to do that. And all I'm asking you is to pay 15 kwacha, and some of you have not paid 15 kwacha. Come to me after October 1st, you'll see how I'll treat you. I'm a very strict person. Uh, Queen says, will it be online? Yes, you will get it to your WhatsApp. Okay? And you pay 15 kwacha. There are two numbers you can pay to. 0963-739-100. That is MTN. 0963-739-100. And Airtel is 0978-117920. 0978-117920. It's a beautiful class, guys, and I'm going to be teaching you and you'll be teaching me great ideas on how to be powerful, powerful people in our country. And by the way, let me just check right now because I was just adding one person to that class. I think we have uh, 58 spaces left before it's full. Here it is. MCN Wealth Creation Class. 58 places before it is full. 58. And it will be completely full. Okay? All right. Let's go into our lesson for today. Uh, Jemis, thank you. 0978117920. I want to warn you that the 0978 is full. <laughs> it's not accepting any more money today. Uh, but use MTN 0963739100. All right. Let's go into our lesson for today. How to start a business with no money. Uh, 0977901870 is the alternative number. 0979901870 is the alternative number. 0963739100. Okay, so I've posted those two numbers now. Let me pin them to the top so that, uh, okay, I've pinned the two numbers that you can pay to right now. And then you send a WhatsApp message to the 0978117920. I've pinned the two numbers. Let's go into our lesson for today. How do you start a business without money? Without capital? And in the article that I've just written about the seven struggles every young person will face, we talk about issues that have to do with direction. What is my direction? Where am I going with this thing that God has given me? With the life God has given me? Now, what is capital? Let us start, let us start from an economic point of view. What is capital? Capital <clears throat> is potential locked up in a space. Now, this capital... Some of you are sending money right now. I can see some money. Thank you so much. Uh, does it say a name? Yeah, Nalungwe. Nanji, thank you. Nalungwe, I've received your registration. So we have 57 spots left. I told you there are only 58. Nalungwe, thank you for the money. I've seen it. <clears throat> so, capital is potential locked up in something. So if you are going to start a business, the first thing you need, ladies and gentlemen, is not money. The first thing you need is to understand where is my potential? Where is my potential? Because you can have money but money without potential, without a vehicle, without a place through which that money can grow, that money is useless. Example given, how many people do you know who once had a lot of money but today they don't have that money? Or how many people do you know who once had no money, but today they have a lot of money? That is what is the difference. When you understand how to unlock your potential, you then eliminate the aspect of money. So that's number one. Where is my potential? Uh, these people that we are watching now, Barbara Banda, and all these female footballers in Zambia, great, great ladies, just won Kosafa last week. If you ask them how did they become footballers, none of them will tell you they started with money. Patson Daka, Mwepu, 
none of them will tell you they started with money. If you look at great artists, young lady in Kitwe who's a great painter, uh, artist who has built a house from painting, she will tell you I did not start with money. There's an 11 year old in Nigeria who is a millionaire, built a house for her mother. She's 11 years old. She will tell you she started with no money. So money is not the first thing you need to start a business. It is potential. Where is my potential? So then you take that potential, then you look for consumers of your potential who will buy what I have. Edris says, add this number. We don't add until you pay. You pay first and you send a... a, a you send a... Uh, somebody sent 20, 20 kwacha, 20,000. Uh, 20 kwacha. Thank you so much. I'll check that. Uh, it's the phone I'm using here. Now we have 56 slots left. Another person has sent 15 kwacha here. We have 55 slots left. And when I'm done with this live, I'm going to add these 55 and the class will be closed. And I'm telling you guys, if you don't pay 15 kwacha to join mm -hmm. this class, I will charge you 180 kwacha. That's how I am. I'm very strict with business. I may have this cash smile, but inside this person, you see, there's a very strict businessman. <laughs> Ask those who know me. Uh, somebody says, one hour is that a gearbox behind you? Yes, let me show you again. Not just a gearbox. Look at that. Look at that. That's all money behind me. Money. Millions and millions. Look at that. A lot of money. And that's what we're talking about today. So, number one, unlock your potential. Look within you and find out five questions you must answer. What do I care for? What do I care for? What inspires me? Number two. What motivates me? Number three. What do I enjoy doing? Number four. And the last question. What do people want from me that I can give at a fee? That is your potential. So number two, who will buy my potential? If you are a mechanic, you say to yourself, who will buy my potential? And within the who will buy my potential, ask yourself the five W's and the one how. Who will buy my potential? Where will they buy my potential? When will they buy my potential? Why should they buy my potential? And... Uh, what is my potential and how will they buy my potential? The five W's and five wives and one husband. Okay? What, where, when, who, you get them. And how. This is what we call in marketing finding a location. Let me be a bit more practical at this stage. I was talking to my wife a few minutes. Oh, sounds good. Just to say I was talking to my wife. Oof. That gives me the hitch me bichimis. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to be. Yeah, it's nice. But anyway, I was talking to my wife a few minutes ago. And she says, babe, thanks for the food you cooked last night. She took some of that food somewhere where she has gone. And they have tested the food and they have said, why doesn't he start a restaurant? Why does Mr. Nawa not start a restaurant? Mm -hmm. So, what is my potential? I'm a very good chef. I cook absolutely amazing meals. When I cook, you have to take off your shoes just to eat my food. If it's not your shoes, take off your shirt. If it's not your shirt, take off your wig. If it's not your wig, take off your belt and enjoy my food. It's just a gift God gave me. So, right now, that idea, I told my wife, I said, you know, this restaurant thing, I think let's take it seriously. Mm. So, meaning, my potential in this case is food. I'm a good cook. I already have a customer, my wife. My children love my food. And to be honest with you, everybody who has ever eaten my food loves my food. I've never been to culinary school. I've never been to any of that 
my mother taught me how to cook. End of story. End of story. We used to cook in Chelston there in small cans doing vavana, doing vipiko with children. That's where I learned how to cook. So my wife is a customer. My wife's friends are now customers. My children are customers. My children's friends are customers of my food. What is my potential? Cooking. Who will buy my potential? My wife. Now, let's go to the five W's. Let's imagine I have zero capital right now. I have zero capital to start that restaurant. How will I start? We are going to be practical because these are the mm. questions you are also asking. Number one, where will I cook from? Because I don't have a restaurant, for now I will cook from my home. What will I use to cook? The same pots that I have are the pots I will use to cook. Where will I get the money to buy the first food that I will sell? And this is where the trick comes now on how to start a business without money. Thank you for all of you that are sending that money as a way of helping me to do a good job when I'm done with this live because there are over 250 of you right now on live. Send me a screenshot of your, of your uh, payment to any of those two numbers, WhatsApp. And that's what we shall use to add you to the class. Right now, I think we are less than 40 spaces left. Let's go back to <clears throat> the restaurant business. And some of you want to run restaurants. You are busy getting ideas right now. Go ahead. What will I cook? The same food that my, wife's like, my wife likes. By the way, I don't cook that food because my wife likes it. With all due respect to my lovely wife. God bless her so she's such a wonderful woman. But I cook that food because me, Movita Christopher, Wanki Pombe Singungulu, Shimpundu by faith, handsome man to watch, man with the purpose now. I thoroughly, with all my iota, my medulla oblongata, with everything in me, I love my food. So before anyone loved my food, I love my food. The first customer of your business must be you. The first consumer of your ideas must be you. You must be your own fan base, your own admin in your own WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. Why do I love my food? Here is the other W. Why must you start this business? Because it's healthy food. It's healthy food. It's good for you. It doesn't make you fat. You don't belch in the morning. You won't have diarrhea. It's, it's, it's simple, basic, old mama style kind of food, but really, really nice, really delicious. So I gave my wife two days off. I said, I'm going to cook for you. So tonight I'm cooking another dish for her, separate mm -hmm. from what I cooked yesterday. Her job is to watch her husband enjoy cooking for the woman he loves. If you are going to start a business without money, you must enjoy what you love. Even when people call you to do a service, your priority should not be how much will you pay me. No, 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 no. That's why some of you can't start a business. Because you love money more than doing what God has given in you, uh, has put inside of you. So tonight I'm cooking again another dish. On one hand, I do it because I love it. But on the other hand, I do it because it's a gift. Right now where I am, I'm at a garage. Somebody's working on my car. Trust me, what that man is doing underneath my car, I can't do. I have no idea how to do what he's doing. No idea. His hands are oily. Spanners are cranking everywhere. But if you look at him, the man is enjoying the drip of engine oil and gearbox oil in his nostrils and size 9 spanners in his mouth. And him, he doesn't even use toothpicks to remove meat from his teeth. He uses a flat screwdriver. That's when you know you love what you do. Across the street, somebody is roofing a house. That man knows nails, T4, IBR, what? Do you think that man started roofing houses with the... With, the, with money? No. 
He served someone first. Someone saw his gift and his gift opened up his doors. That's why the Bible says, watch a man with skill. He will not serve ordinary people. He will serve extraordinary people. What is your potential? How are you going to unlock that potential? Somebody must test what you are good at. Look at all these people, Justin Bieber, Justin Timberlake. Uh, look at all these people. There was once American Idol, South African Idol. Now they are out there doing great things. Let someone test what you are good at. So, let's come back to the restaurant business. How will I raise money? Because we are still at the question of where, where will I get the money to cook what I want to cook? So, can I ask you right now? Let me show you right now, right now, how I can raise money right this moment for my restaurant. I want to show you right now and I will prove it right now. Let me tell you what I cooked for my wife yesterday. Let me tell you right now. I cooked goat meat. And that's my specialty. Goat meat. And it was two types. There was one lemon and herb seasoned with paprika and it was in the chili side. There was another one. It was lemon and herb with garlic and the ginger base. It was on the other side. Then there was this salad that I make. There's a salad I make. It's a traditional salad taught to me by my mom. And then there was potatoes. Seasoned with my own spice. That was the meal. The gravy. We were literally sipping the gravy like we needed a drip if that goat soup was to be put in a drip i would be like put 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 right now put two pints that's the meal i made for my wife last night so i want to show you right now the portion that i made last night the two servings the potatoes the salad and the two portions of goat meat are worth 150 kwacha. They can feed a family of six to eight people. For this special order now, I want to sell that portion that I sold, that I made for my wife yesterday. I will cook it tomorrow for four families. Four families within Lusaka. The same portion that I made for my wife yesterday, I will cook it for four families within Lusaka, and my wife and I will personally deliver that meal to you tomorrow on Sunday. The meal will be ready at 12.30 hours. How many would like to order that meal tomorrow Sunday? Only four families. 150 kwacha. Okay, let me open my, my minutes. I'm selling a goat meat portion for four, no, for four families, yes. A portion of six to eight, but because this is a special order, I will personally deliver this meal tomorrow in Lusaka to four families at 150 kwacha each. Uh, Tinashe says me. Tinashe, I have my first order. Tinashe says me. We have one order for goat meat. Uh, that I cooked for my wife yesterday. It comes with goat meat, two, two, two styles. One is lemon and herb with garlic. The other one is paprika, chili based. And then there is a vegetable salad that my mother taught me. Emmanuel says me. It's 150. Those of you that have ordered, you can make payment now to any of those numbers and you just say goat meat. Tomorrow at 12.30, my wife and I will deliver these to your home tomorrow. They will be warm. We have a third order. Bernard said me. Okay? Uh, let's see. Bernard says me. So we've got three orders right now. Tinashe, one. Uh, Minyoi, two. Emmanuel, three. Bernard, four. So I've got four orders right now. I have no capital. 
I have no capital. All I have is potential. I've got four orders right now from Minyoi, Bernard, uh, Tenashe, Temba says. So I've got five orders, guys. I can't take more than six orders, guys, because in business, don't be greedy for money. Deliver first. Other things will come. So the five of you, Minyoi, Tinashe, Bernard, send 150 right now. E-wallet, zap it, pay to sell. That number there is FNB pay to sell. Zap it is that MTN number. Uh, so I've got five orders. I need one more than Oscar. That's my sixth order. I'm done with orders for Got Meat. So six orders gives me 900 kwacha right now. 900 kwacha. So I have just raised 900 kwacha for a restaurant I don't have. Okay, I'm waiting for money from these six. Oscar, go ahead, send money. Uh, I'm in Mongo. No, 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 we are not sending goat meat to Mongo. Only Lusaka. Don't be greedy. When you are starting an idea, start small, but start well. Right now, I've got six customers who are ordering the goat meat that my wife loves and the salad which my mother taught me. And tomorrow, me and my wife are going to cook these six portions and we're going to deliver these six portions to these six families tomorrow. Airtel Money, Bernard, 0977-901-870. Bernard is ready to pay. There is the phone number. Bernard, I need you to pay now because I want to show people what I'm talking about. 0977-901-870. Capital. I have no money. Bernard is sending money right now. Why is Bernard sending money to me? Bernard trusts me. Why does Bernard trust me? He has a relationship with me. How does he have a relationship with me? Don't ask me. Go and ask Bernard. Why are all these people ordering? Minyoi, Oscar, why are they ordering? Because they want to be a part of my success. They're not ordering because they don't know how to cook. Of course, they are ordering because they also want to taste this special goat meat that I cook for my wife. Bernard, I'm waiting for money. 150. Tinashe says she's sending right now. Send the money and then send a WhatsApp with the location where we are delivering this lunch tomorrow at 12.30. It will be well packaged for your family. About 8 to 10 people will eat this tomorrow. So, there. The first 150 has arrived. Thank you very much. Woo! Shataraba, sataba, ba, 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 zondo. Habari yo kandoro, tabadia mbarara mwere sawandi. Ribo, sete, na chepa, ine, na chepa, na chepa. I have just received 150 kwacha from Pena, uh, Bernard. Another 155 has come. There it is. I've raised 300 kwacha for a restaurant I don't have. But because I have a gift and I have another person who believes in my bid, I've raised 300 kwacha. We are waiting for more people to pay. Uh, we are raising 900 kwacha. Here is what I will do with that 900 kwacha today. When I'm done here, I'm going to buy a live goat today. Because one of the reasons my wife loves my food is that it's always fresh. I'm going to buy a live goat today. I know how much a live goat costs. It's 650 kwacha in Lusaka. I'll buy a live goat. And then I'll cook this live goat fresh. I'll marinate it tonight. Put it in our fridge tonight. Because I've got uh, six customers waiting for fresh food tomorrow. Now, if you want your business to grow, you must keep your word. These people now, Bernard has already called his mother or his wife or his sister. I don't know who else has paid. I've received two monies there. Have you ever, have you ever tried something and it worked? <laughs> and then you said, <laughs> but we are not joking here. If I'm jenjemaling, it's because I'm overwhelmed by how God is. Okay? I'm waiting for four more people to pay. So far, two have paid. I'll go and buy goat meat today. And the portions I'll cook today, remember, I'm selling portions for six to eight people. But because these people are some of my first customers, 
I will add more portions because I want them to have goat meat for 10 people tomorrow. The remaining money, I'll buy garlic, cooking oil, potatoes, and I'll top up on electricity so that I don't use my wife's electricity at my home. So for six people, 900 kwacha, that means my profit on this first goat will be 100 kwacha. The first goat, I'm going to make 100 kwacha profit. Now some of you are saying, ha, you will spend the whole day cooking to make 100 kwacha. That's where you go wrong. This 800 kwacha that is going to Bernard and Tinashe and others, Inside this 800 kwacha, there is advertising. Another 150 has come. Let me dance. Can I dance? <laughs> I remember the man honorable. I can't dance. <laughs> you can take a munguru out of the komboni, but the komboni will always be in the munguru. <laughs> I've just received 450 towards my restaurant, which does not exist. But my potential, you should see me in the kitchen. You should see me in the kitchen. My potential, ask my wife, I wish she was here. Ask my children, when they eat my food, they drink the soup. Even the soup that drips on their hands, they go, ah, ah, ah. even the one that drips on their plates, they, like, mm, 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 mm. they clean their t-shirts with saliva when they eat my food. It's a gift. I've received 450 kwacha. Capito that I didn't have before I came live. So, let me go back to the 800 kwacha. In that 800 kwacha, bless you all of you that are sending money. There is advertising. Bernard will go and tell someone else. Someone else will tell someone else. This week, I'll make 100 kwacha from my goat. Because I have six orders. Remember, experience I have. But I still need to figure out how would I deliver six to six families. Some of them might be in Chirenje. Some of them might be in Kawata. Some of them might be. How do I deliver six portions and make sure they are still fresh? Make sure they are still uh, hot and make sure that we are on time. Meaning, we will start our deliveries at 11.30. Remember, I run a logistical company. I'm a transporter. So I know how to plan movements. You understand? So I will know. Sorry, there is a bit of noise. I know how to plan. I will know, okay, who's nearer my home? They will get their portion first. Who's nearer to that? They will get their portion second. And I will do a, a, a Yango. Tomorrow I'm becoming an Urendo and Yango superstar. Which vehicle will I use to deliver my food? That vehicle. Why? Because it's clean. That vehicle is ever clean. That vehicle. Me, my vehicle, even if you drop your drumstick, you pick it up, my friend. Say, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Then you got to go to the Sorry. <laughs> my vehicles are always clean. My canters have got air conditioned. That's just how I am. We are like that. So this week I'll make 100 kwacha, but I have six customers. And guess what? These six customers might order again next week. Precious, I've received your 15 kwacha. Thank you so very much. Please make sure you send me screenshots so that I add you to the class. Next week's order might go to 10 orders at 150. Imagine on a Sunday, you are coming from church, you tell your wife, babe, don't cook. Uh, MCN catering is delivering. <laughs> Me, when it comes to business, my friend, I don't play. Next week, we might take 10 orders, but I'm not thinking about next week. I'm thinking about tomorrow. When the orders become many, 
I will say, my wife, sit down. We are hiring someone to help us in the kitchen. But I will still be there to supervise. When that is too many people be like, Mr. Now, we can't just be eating on Sundays. We want to now start eating on uh, Saturdays as well. We now go to two days. Somebody else says, but what about Fridays? Three days. That is what we call demand pull economics. Not just supply push economics. May the good Lord bless you. Thank you to those who have ordered food for tomorrow. We've got three payments right now that I've seen. Thank you. As soon as they are done servicing my car, I'm going to go and, and buy that goat meat. And my wife will be like, No, <laughs> I'll be like, May the good Lord be with you all. This has been your friend, Mubita Nawa. I've just demonstrated to you how to start a business without money. And I want to announce to you, this is the beginning of my restaurant, MCN Eats. God bless you.